Hi guys. Today, I am going to be sharing with you how AI models such as ChatGPT, Claude, or even local models in LM Studio can cross over from this digital text world into the real world. I'm serious, guys. Let's get into it. As always, we start by telling the model how to interact with PowerShell GPT. This prompt includes asking it to carry out a test command so we know it understands. Whenever a command is detected before executing it, this access request will appear. You can click Allow or Deny. You can select this option if you'd prefer to skip this. We're just going to click Allow. Here you can see the test command was executed and the response automatically sent back to the model. I'm using the basic model here, and it's just trying to explore its newfound capabilities. Okay guys, for this demo, I'm using Virtual Serial Ports Emulator. It emulates COM ports and other cool stuff. I'll put a link in the description. This is going to act as our imaginary device, but this could be anything. A light, a PTZ camera, your garage door. When I say anything, I mean anything. Now we're gonna get the model to send some text to the COM port. Computer. Send the text hello over COM port 1. Baud rate 9600. In a real life scenario, we'd send the command to the device that controls it, but this demonstrates the functionality. We should see the text that it sends appear in this window here. I'll just click allow. Okay, the code's been executed. And there was an error. Perfect, I love it when this happens because we get to showcase PowerShell GPT's amazing ability to get these models to self-correct their code when they make mistakes. Just look at that, guys. It got it wrong the first time and then second attempt, boom. Okay, now we got it to write the code. We can bring that code up by clicking last command. Now watch this. We're gonna find the word hello in this code and change it. We're gonna put keyword in square brackets. Then we're gonna save the command. This allows us to create dynamic commands. So we can create one command instead of a command for every different thing we might want to say. We save the command as send the message, then put keyword in square brackets again, and then add over the serial port. Now when we run this command where it says keyword in the code will be replaced by whatever we say in place of keyword when we say the command. Using keyword in commands like this is yet another powerful feature of PowerShell GPT, allowing you to create vocal variables in the commands you create. There's a few example usages included. In fact, all the examples in these videos are included when you download the app and more. This keyword command feature also works with JavaScript injected into the inbuilt browser. It's a feature that opens up limitless possibilities. Let's give it a try. Computer. Send the message. Download PowerShell GPT. It's amazing. Over the serial port. The command we just saved gets executed and voila. With PowerShell GPT, you can create your own AI agent and not only have it act in the digital world, but in the real world too. Once any of these commands are saved, you can have them executed whenever you choose. And with PowerShell GPT, you can get these models to execute them too. And there you have it, real world actions. Like, share, and subscribe if you haven't already. There's more to come. Until the next time, have fun, stay safe.